Working with Bill has been um, another great treat with this project. I mean, um, I know, I've known of Bill. I have, in fact, met him, met him in Morocco, of all places, um, by chance. Um, so, met him before, really liked him, really like his work. Love the fact that he goes from these very big, you know, massive musical projects right down to very, very particular projects and kind of almost art house. Um, really like his sensibility. And it was a real pleasure um, to get this film <laughs> with Bill um, and felt very kind of... His, his, his approach, you know, was that we had certain core things that we were starting point. I mean, one of the interesting things was, you know, the Cocteau film, the Jean Cocteau film from the 19... La Belle et la Bette from the 1950s, I think it was. You know, we, we both really liked that. And, and to start talking about Beauty and the Beast referencing the Jean Cocteau, I don't know how much will have remained, you know, in there, but it was a great starting point to, to begin discussing it with him. Because we can't, we don't have the time or the money to change things dramatically uh, within the architecture. We are doing that on the exterior terrace. There's a big change, but within inside the castle, so we're doing it much more subtly. So the first time we, so the ballroom uh, plays five times, and the first time we see it, it's frozen. So this is a kind of a metaphor for you know the fact that the castle has just been left in this inert state, and the you know the the frost has crept in. So the first time we see the ballroom, it's dark, it's frozen. Maurice comes in and hears the the harpsichord cadenza playing on his own, very lonely. Um, and then we see it again. We see it, Bell Bell's cleaning it up, so bringing it back to life. You know, cleaning the windows, the ice off the windows, so the sun floods in. Then we see it for the famous waltz, where it's it's magical. There's a magical quality to it, um, where it'll be affected by uh, VFX. We will kind of bring the universe into it. What I really like about about this Beauty and the Beast, doing working on this film, is the fact that it's like the the old technology and new technology. I mean, these are real big bang kind of old fashioned sets. They're proper big old sets. But into that, we bring the latest technology with, with, the, with the household stuff, with the creatures. I mean, we've made perfect, perfect model. You know, they are, you know, we, we have created these beautiful objects then they become animated. Then they become, you know, in in the latest computer technology and the latest computer technology which they'll be using with the beast is incredible. So this combination of old and new, and in a way, you know, you had to create these sets because if we'd been putting computer-generated creatures and into computer-generated environments, you wouldn't really be making a live-action film. So, you know, so... So I think it's the whole kind of concept of and the whole idea of making this film and then making it musical and with all the dance numbers, you know, it's just so complicated. But, you know, to have been allowed the opportunity to work on a film like this is just incredible.